That gave me chills. Thank you. So hi. <clears throat> uh, good evening, everyone, and welcome to the spring concert. I'm Reverend Dr. Nicole Torbitsky, faculty in the Philosophy and Religion program and the university chaplain. It's my pleasure to be here to MC for you tonight. Before we continue, I would like to remind you to turn off all electronic or noise-making devices. We're recording this concert, and it will soon be available on YouTube for everyone to enjoy. This is a very exciting event for many of the musicians performing tonight. Our advanced conducting students will complete their culminating project by conducting a piece of the concert. As they prepare for their music education careers, this is a very important step in their preparation. For many on stage tonight, this is the last concert as a full-time part of the Lindenwood Choral Program. And because of this special night, Professor Grooms has chosen to present many of her favorite selections. The next is Lift Boy by English composer Benjamin Britten. And it is quite challenging to sing. You will notice lots of awkward intervals and rhythms and entrances, and the lyrics are also a little confusing. This piece is intended to be a comical story about a young man who starts with nothing and has very few cares and progresses through life to find that the end is not what he expected. The awkward descending notes represent the descent of the lift or elevator. Thank you. 
A little side note, when we started that song, they said, what does this song mean? I said, nothing. It means nothing. It's just a silly song. Um, thank you for enjoying that and supporting them. Uh, the next song is going to be conducted by one of our student conductors. Her name is Lucy Pritchard. Lucy has been singing in church and in school most of her life and just has been raised in that choral tradition and that singing tradition and is really excited to continue her journey as a music educator. She works with, she has worked with children's choirs. She is assisting in a private voice studio uh, this year. And so her side jobs are even preparing her for her music education career. I'm really excited to let her have this opportunity to do one of my favorite French choral songs and she's gonna tell you about that. Hello. <laughs> Firstly, I would like to thank Professor Grooms um, for, where did she go? For being my mentor um, all of these years. Um, I'd also like to thank the choir for being so patient with me as I've been figuring out um, conducting. It's kind of hard. Um, this piece that you're about to hear is called Dire Ton. I picked it because it is slow and expressive, which has kind of ended up being my thing. Um, but also it has very challenging entrances so it's been a good challenge. Um, I am proud of how far it's come and how far I've come in my conducting, so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
with pleasing melodies and strong harmonies, two South African languages, and djembe accompaniment, Modimbo, arranged by Michael Barrett, delivers what we have come to think of as traditional African choral sound. The translation for this piece is, when we are walking and praying, God sees us. Celebrate. As voices only take the stage, I would like to share a little with you about the three pieces they will perform this evening. The first, Nyan Nyan, has no translation. It's not real words. You will enjoy the different rhythms and colors of the sound. The second, Run to You, was written and performed first by Pentatonix several years ago. Uh, and it has been a voices only favorite for many years. And the third song is a spiritual, Way over in Beulah Land, this is a change from the printed program.
Well, we have University Chorus coming up on stage. Um, I'd like to thank you all for being here and sitting through all of my favorite music. Uh, it's been a joy to work with the, these groups this year, as it has been a joy to work with all of the groups that I've uh, had the pleasure to be with and to make music with over the years. Um, <clears throat> we started University Chorus as a community chorus just a few years ago. And uh, it just has grown by word of mouth. There are several Lindenwood alumni. There are some Francis Hall North alumni from when, back when I taught high school before I was here. There are lots of community members. And just by word of mouth, the choir has grown. And it has become a community. One of the things I love about this choir is the intergenerational community of singers. I think our young students need that experience with um, uh, people who are actually adulting um, so that they can see that you can adult and still make music uh, because adulting is hard sometimes. So uh, I'm really pleased that we have this group and it's just been a lot of fun. Uh, the first piece that they're going to do is actually going to be conducted by our other student con conductor. His name is Luke Jurgensmeyer. Now Luke decided that one kind of music ed degree was not enough. So he is a trombone player who's getting his certification in K-12 instrumental, but he's adding the vocal endorsement. 
So he did all the conducting and the teaching and the technique stuff for his instrumental degree, and now he's finishing up his vocal certification by doing this conducting project. So uh, if you think music is an easy degree, you need to talk to these music ed majors because their degrees are about 140 credits and a normal degree is about 120 credits. So they are busy all the time. And so some of the busiest people on campus have been on the stage tonight. Uh, Luke is going to conduct a piece called Festival Gloria and he's gonna tell you a little bit about it. <coughs> Uh, first of all, I want to thank Professor Grooms for letting me conduct one of her choirs. Um, I'd also like to thank the University Chorus for being so kind and helpful along this whole process. Um, like she said, the piece that I'm conducting is Festival Gloria. Because of my instrumental nature, the upbeat and all the cues and fun tempo things are something that I enjoy. So I cho chose this piece for that, but then it's also a good piece to stretch me in my uh, slower and more legato, which is smooth conducting. Uh, yeah, this is Festival Gloria by Randall Johnson.
The next two pieces are representative of Americana at its finest. The first, Homeward Bound, has a message of leaving with fond memories of home. This arrangement was written for the Mormon Tabernacle Choir. The second, When Our Voices Rise, was written by a St. Louis composer, conductor, and music education specialist, Stuart Chapman Hill. And it truly expresses the joy and unity this ensemble feels when they join every week from all over the community to sing together. Joy, peace, harmony, and unity.
Eric Whitaker originated the virtual choir several years before the pandemic made virtual singing necessary. The choral world is grateful for this innovation, making it less overwhelming to keep choirs together digitally. According to the composer, this piece, Sing Gently, was inspired by the feelings all musicians had during the isolation of the pandemic. And although we have made it through that season, the lyrics are still poignant today. This message is Professor Groom's hope for all on this stage tonight. May we stand together always. May our voice be strong. May we hear the singing and may we always sing along. Sing gently.
I'm going to apologize in advance for the length of these speeches. While I'm uh, saying my thanks and showing my gratitude, I would love it for all of the alumni who have uh, decided to join us to sing the last number to come and join us now. If you are an alumni and you didn't join us earlier today, we have music for you, so come on up. Don't be shy, please come on up. Um, I do want to start this, um, before we get to the thanks, I would like to um, introduce someone very important to me and to these people. Um, there has been a decision on who will be the next choral director at Lindenwood University, and I'm very proud to say that Professor Connor Scott will be our director and will be continuing the choral legacy at Lindenwood. Connor, would you please stand? As soon as he signed his contract, he went to the bookshop and got um, got some Lindenwood gear. So if you see somebody sporting a bunch of Lindenwood gear out in the lobby, that's the guy. So we're very excited about that. Now for the thank yous. Um, I have so many people to thank. Number one, the students and the community members, all of the singers that have sung with me over the years. Um, thank you so much for this wonderful life. Um, it's been a wonderful life to be able to do what you love and get paid for it. <laughs> I love it. Um, but I want to thank some special people. The production crew, which is our music students, our music business and entrepreneurship. Um, students have a production crew that work the work all of the things, the sound and the recording and the backstage stuff and the logistics. And they are led by Professor Adam Donahue and the student leader Tim Shackelford. And we would not you would not see and hear us like you do if it were not for them. So thank you so much. I'd like to thank my colleagues, our other faculty um, members, uh, Sebastian Boots and Dustin DiCenzo, and a whole host of adjuncts that I couldn't name and remember everyone uh, that support our students and support each other uh, to make this a successful program. So thank you to them as well. Um, I love uh, the entire performing arts faculty and staff has supported um, all of our music events, and I really appreciate the theater staff, especially the theater technical staff, and Austin Van Winkle, who has given us the beautiful lights tonight. He does special things for us for the music, and we really appreciate that. So thank you, theater folks. Our department chair, Emily Jones. Uh, a very dear friend. We have worked together on musicals and we've acted together in a play and uh, she is our performing arts department chair and whenever we need something she does her darndest to get what we need and to support us completely. We are um, the well-oiled machine that we are because of her leadership and we appreciate it immensely. I'd also like to thank our deans, Dr. Kathy Vosevich and uh, Dr. Travis McMackin and Dr. Shanika Harris for their tremendous support. They fight for us. They, we are expensive and um, the university doesn't like that, but they fight for us because they think it's important for us to be here. So if it were not for the support of our deans of the College of Arts and Humanities, we would not be as successful as we are. We really appreciate that administrative support. Um, two of the most important people on this stage are our accompanists. Uh, I love these people and I am so happy to count on them every week in rehearsals and in the performance and they do kind of a thankless job because all they get is kind of a nod. So would you please give it up for Kathy Smith and Peter Shea. Thank you most of all to the students I have had the privilege of mentoring the last several years. You are wonderful humans. Thank you parents, family, and friends for contributing to these amazing people. And thank you for attending tonight in support of live music, choral singing, and sharing in this moment with us. As we complete the concert tonight, our final song, with, along with many alumni and music friends, we are reminded that music lives.
free.